Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode. Sorry I haven't posted a video in a couple weeks. I really, really wanted to post um, an episode last week, but uh, I just didn't really have the time or the energy to sit down and, and properly film a video for you guys. And today I kind of just want to update you guys on kind of how it went uh, with the move. A lot of you guys know that I recently moved from my condo uh, to a house and then I'm going to be moving in the next couple months. So there's a lot of things going on in my life right now that I'm just trying to trying to put everything in line. So today I kind of just want to update you guys on how the move went and future plans. I got a couple projects that I need to, I need to finish and I got a couple other projects that I want to accomplish in the next couple weeks. So um, I want to update, update you guys on kind of how the move went. Uh, right behind me are both of my tanks. This is one of the spare rooms um, in this house uh, that we have. So I kind of just have a bunch of stuff in here. And this is where I have my shrimp tank and my beta tank. Um, these two tanks are probably the easiest ones to move. Um, I took the beta and put them in a small container um, and transported him that way. It was kind of uh, impossible for me to do that with the shrimp tank. Uh, so what I ended up doing was just kind of lowering uh, the tank probably down to like a gallon and a half of water. Um, at that point it wasn't really really heavy so I was able to just transport him that way. Um, luckily these tanks are small and it wasn't too much of an issue. Um, they bounced right back so I don't, I'm not really too concerned about these two tanks. Uh, they've been doing really really well. So we're gonna go take a look at the guppy tank on my on my main guppy tank and kind of talk about that a little bit and then I'll talk about my goldfish and then hopefully we'll talk about some future plans or future um, future stuff that I need to accomplish. So stick around guys. Alright guys so this is my guppy tank and this is the only tank that's really really a mess right now. Uh, when I transported it I had to take the driftwood because I was scared of it shifting around. Uh, so for right now, I kind of just placed it in there, uh, but a lot of plants got uprooted. I still got to trim the rotola back there. Um, I really haven't done anything with this tank since I moved. Um, what I plan on doing is removing um, the two male guppies and separating them and kind of giving the females a break. Uh, eventually, I just want to get this male uh, breeding with my other bigger female and not uh, breed the other female because that's the one that I really really like um, I had a couple guys um, on, on on YouTube kind of reach out to me saying that they want to get some guppies from me so um, I want to start sexing some of these out some of the males and females um, I kind of put some of the guppies into the shrimp tank and I also put some guppies uh, into my goldfish tank for right now because I really have no room so um, I'm going to take the two males out and separate them, put them in a separate tank um, and then start separating some of the babies out, putting them in, in separate tanks and trying to figure out what I have. Uh, to this point I have way too many guppies for me to, for me to take care of, uh, especially in this tank. Uh, so that's kind of going to be the next project. Also the light on this kind of went out. Um, the blue spectrum on, on it kind of went out so I'm gonna, I got to get a new light for this tank. Uh, so this is the next project that I'm going to be working on. Uh, I don't plan on selling any of these guppies, but I do plan on raising them up, at least the males, and showing them um, in next year's uh, guppy show. So I do plan on taking some of the males, some of the better males, uh, to the guppy show and see how I do. Hopefully I win a prize. Uh, that would be pretty cool. But for right now, this tank is kind of just a mess. I need to work on it. Uh, like I said, a lot of plants are floating. The rotola in the back needs to be grown um, or needs to be cut down or re replanted. I'm going to be moving the, the crypt all the way to the corner. I'm going to be taking that sponge filter um, and putting it with the male guppy. So that's going to be the next project for that. This is the only tank that kind of suffered the most uh, during the move. But it is what it is. We'll, we'll work on it next week. I probably finally going to have time to uh, start doing stuff with this. So stick around for that let's go look at the goldfish tank all right guys so here's my goldfish tank and as you guys can see it's doing very very good uh the only problem or the only issue i had when i when i moved was i probably moved on one of the hottest days uh during the summer uh so i had the nubius i have the nubius tied up to the to the driftwood so when i moved it out 
Um, a lot of it did melt back just because it was so hot and it was out of the water. Uh, so a lot of the Anubias, especially a lot of the smaller Anubias plants uh, did melt back. So that was a little bit of a, of a heartbreak because Anubias is a really, really slow grower. Uh, and to lose a lot of um, a lot of leaves just like that was kind of heartbreaking. Uh, but the goldfish are doing okay. I feel like the black oranda kind of did um, did get stressed out a little bit, uh, but he's doing he's doing okay now. Uh, the white oranda I've never really had any issues with her. Uh, she swims around very very well. Uh, but the black oranda kind of did um, did suffer a little bit. Kind of did get a little bit of a homesick, I guess. Uh, but he's starting to perk up. Uh, if you guys can see, I got a lot of guppy fry in this tank. Um, I moved a lot of the bigger guppies from the 20 gallon into this tank because I had nowhere to put them. Uh, so that's going to be one of my next projects is to be moving um, the guppy fries into their own tank. I'm going to start separating the males from the females just so they don't breed. Uh, but I'm going to start putting them into separate tanks um, in the next couple of weeks. So that's going to be the next project that I'm going to be doing. Uh, I'm probably going to get another three more tanks uh, just to separate these guys. But so far, everybody's doing okay. All right, guys, so that's it for today. Uh, some of the things that I want to accomplish is possibly getting a brand new light uh, for the 20 gallon guppy tank. So that's going to be the next on the list. My daughter's back there playing. Uh, so that's going to be next on the list is getting a brand new light for the guppy tank. Um, and I'm going to be getting at least three more tanks uh, to separate the guppies. Um, I'm going to get one to um, separate the males, get another one to separate the juvenile uh, females, and another one to separate uh, the juvenile uh, males to kind of see what I have. Um, once I know, then I'll start figuring out what I'm going to do with them. Uh, I'm not going to keep all of them. Um, you know, eventually I'm going to start uh, stop breeding, so I'm not going to keep all of them, but I do want to keep a couple uh, to show in the guppy show next year. Also, um, what else? Um, I have been talking to uh, Richard from King Koi and Goldfish, so I do plan on getting um, a couple more ranchus. Um, just to kind of give you guys a heads up. Um, I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to put them. Okay, it's alright, Mama. Um, if you guys have been following me on Instagram, you guys kind of know or kind of get the gist of um, what I plan on doing it for. But for right now on YouTube, I'm going to kind of try to keep it a secret. Uh, but I do plan on getting some more ranches. There's my bird over there. So I'm not going to show him to you guys because he's molting. Come here and say hi. Hi. My daughter's back here. She's playing. Look. With her Barbies. Alright guys, so that's it. There's just a couple, uh, couple of projects that I need to take care of. Uh, there's a couple other projects that I don't want to talk about right now. But they are in the works. I am planning. And I am trying to figure those out. But I don't want to keep them... Um, uh, keep them. Uh, I don't want to say them right now. Also, I'm gonna probably introduce you guys to my Indian ringneck uh, bloodbird. I mean parakeet. Uh, I don't think I've shown him on my channel yet, so that's probably something I'm gonna be doing in the next couple of weeks. Also, I want to get him a uh, brand new cage. So, so hopefully uh, by by then he'll have his brand new feathers and, uh, and he'll have a brand new cage. Um, and then I'll show him to you guys at that point. But. For right now, that's it. Let's say bye. Bye. Thanks for watching, guys. Sorry I didn't post anything last week. I'm going to try to be a little bit more consistent. Uh, but until then, thanks for watching. Have a great day, guys.